Hi! So in this video, we're talking about how you can validate that you have a good idea, right? How much research do you need to do? My name is Victoria Yampolsky and I run the Startup Station. So I suggest a five-step framework that you follow in order to conduct your research in a robust manner. Step number one is to validate that you have a problem, right? So you have to find the data to prove it. You need to understand the industry, the trends, and then you need to somehow find what is going on that hasn't really been addressed by the industry and the current competition as of yet. Step number two is that you need to evaluate the problem's marketability, right? Or you need to prove that the market size is big enough to justify building a business around solving that problem, right? So if the problem is small enough, but it's a niche problem, it may not be worth it to go forward and create a whole solution around it. So you really need to think about the demand, right? And who's really needs for that problem to be solved. Step number three, and very importantly, you need to take a step back now that you have a problem to be solved and you know that the problem is big enough. Now you need to think about why it hasn't been solved by the current players. It could be because they don't have the technology. It could be that the market segment is hard for them to reach. There could be a variety of reasons why they haven't done it, but until you find the real reason why, you should not be going forward because otherwise you're in danger of a big company simply taking a bunch of people from their current projects and putting them to work on your idea once there are some news available uh, on the internet and really taking you over because they have a lot more resources to do it than you as a small company. Step number four is you need to make sure that your solution solves the problem, right? So now that you have a problem and you know it's big enough and you understand why the current market players haven't solved it, you need to make sure that you're solving it in a way that is way better, 10, 100, 1,000 times better than everybody else. Okay, so your solution can't just be a little bit better. In order for the company to be successful in the current market environment, your solution needs to be remarkable and needs to really stand out. Okay, and so you need to really understand what other solutions are available and you need to prove it to yourself with concrete data and logic why your solution is the best. And finally, and I would say also importantly, you need to think about the urgency. How urgently does this problem need to be solved? Because with all of the four pieces, in place. If the problem doesn't need to be solved urgently, it's still going to be hard to come to market because then you're providing a vitamin pill as opposed to a painkiller. And you always want to come up with an idea that is a painkiller. So to learn more how to evaluate the financial feasibility of your ideas, you can take our course number two on business models for uh, software and service startups. Uh, and for more questions, you can always contact me at victoria at the startupstation.com. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.